In this review we look at two models of Putzmeister machines. The M385 is a concrete pump mounted on an AROX chassis and its Conrad model 78211L. The P9GUL is a truck mixer on an AROX chassis and it is model number 78226L. Both these models come in Putzmeister branded boxes and let's get on and open up the concrete pump box. Unusually the model number has been blacked out probably because it's from a different version of the model. As it's a Putzmeister branded box there is some information about the real machine printed on the box. And if we get on and pull out the insides we see it's the usual foam backed cardboard. The packaging does a good job of protecting the model. And there's also a small bag containing parts that have to be fitted. For the truck mixer model the packaging is in exactly the same style. Once again for a Conrad truck model you have to fit the mirrors and aerials. And we start in time honoured fashion by separating the parts from the moulding sprue. The parts that have to be fitted are the same for both models because they both have a Mercedes Benz Arox cab. And we start off with a mirror over one of the cab doors. And then that's followed up by the two door mirrors. They do fit well although sometimes it can be a bit tough to get them in. And the same is sometimes true of the roof aerial, where it can be a little bit fiddly trying to get the flexible aerial into the hole. The concrete pump does have one other part to fit to get it into a road going configuration, and that's putting spreader plates into the carry position on the outriggers. The chassis of the concrete pump is good because all of the transmission is modelled, with just the steering mechanism being purely functional. The windscreen mirror is not silvered but the rest of the cab looks good, with the distinctive Arox grille standing out. The wheels have got a nice smart trim and the outriggers look good with their sharp graphics. At the back there are nice handrails and textured surfaces. The metal boom is reproduced well including the concrete pipe, with just some of the rivets detracting a little. The truck mixer chassis is similar but it doesn't have a complete drive shaft running to the rear axles. And that's because of the modelling of the steering. The Arox cab is very similar although it does have a different visor and roof detail. The wheels are the same and they look good. And both the water tank and mixer drum are metal with nice Putzmeister graphics. At the back there are metal chutes, access platforms and ladders. But neither of these trucks has number plates because they're generic models. Well you have to say the truck mixer certainly rolls very well and that's probably helped by its heavy weight. At the back the rear axles move to replicate suspension. But at the front the steering is a bit unusual and that's because each of the axles is not linked. And so you have to set the steering individually. If you set a very hard lock then the wheels will foul. But at a shallower angle the model rolls well. So if you know which direction you're going in it's absolutely fine. But if you're clueless and you don't know which way to go you can set the steering accordingly. There's no tilting cab on the model but the drum does rotate well. And there's a little bit more functionality at the back where the chute can be angled in different directions. So there's no problem spraying all the following cars as you drive along. Moving on to the concrete pump and it also rolls very smoothly. And if we pick it up it shares the same characteristics on the rear axles. There is only one axle at the front so steering is straightforward. And actually it's a bit better because you can set a sharp angle and the model does turn well. Anyway pumping concrete is the name of the game so let's get set up for that. The big rear outriggers just fold outwards and we can detach the pads which are attached to it. And the front outrigger is a different mechanism, it's telescopic and you pull it out. To extend the pistons and lower the pads you have to pull down on them and they are really quite stiff. But once they're down and standing on the little pads, then they are strong enough to hold up the model wheels free. The placing boom is a five section design. And we'll begin to open it up by pulling it up on the main ram. 
The good thing about the model engineering here is that although the rams are quite stiff, they are smooth and not jerky. So it's nice to open up the five sections of the placing boom. Once you've unfolded all of the sections of the boom, you get quite a large model. And it replicates all of the flexibility of the real machine in terms of where it can place the concrete. At the end of the boom, there's a nice little rubber hose. And if you operate it carefully, you can rotate the whole of the placing boom structure. There's one other bit of functionality on the model, and that's the opening cover to the hopper. And once it's open, we can play building sites and reverse up our truck mixer. If the pump is standing wheels free, then the hopper is slightly high for the truck mixer chute. But it's nothing that a giant finger can't take care of. The Arox truck mixer is a typically robust and strong Conrad model, and it's got some good detailing. However, the compromise is that the functionality is a little bit reduced, but overall the model is nice enough to recommend. The concrete pump also doesn't have a tilting cab, but the functionality of the placing boom is very good. It's a nicely detailed model which can be posed in interesting ways, and with its nice detailing it's highly recommended.